Welcome Gemini. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Starseed Oracle deck um, and Divine Directions and the Animal Tarot cards. Okay, so Gemini, let's get started with the Starseed Oracle. Okay, so one card for Gemini, please. One card for Gemini. There it is. And at the end, we will read it from the book, Gemini. So let's have a look here. Wow. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Interesting. Gemini, interesting. Wow. That is cool. suppose it's about not getting too stressed out like it's a you know like seeing the bigger picture maybe let's have a look okay so Gemini three cards for perspective for Gemini please oh I can't wait wait to read that at the end none of this matters zoom out One more card, one more card. And the thing is, like, when I'm thinking of this zoom out, right, I'm thinking about how, you know, when you take a photo and you zoom in on it to get, um, to see things more close up, right? I suppose in life we have the tendency to do that on a lot of things. We focus on one thing instead of kind of seeing the bigger picture of things and stepping away right rather than stepping in hmm interesting okay so we have trust we have <laughs> funnily enough focus and we have passion okay gemini so trust trust your intuition and in what you are feeling sensing seeing or experiencing okay so tell me more about trust trust for gemini Trust your intuition. One more card. Yep, there it is. Oh, they all landed on the table. Yay! Okay, so let's have a look here. We've got these cards here. Okay, sweet Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Ten of winter here. This is an absolute time of, I want to say heartache, but it's more than that. This is, this is a time that you have been through, Gemini, that has been brutal. Absolutely brutal. Okay. Um, I want to say, with this fire hydrant here, I want to say that the fire's out, okay? And the husky, the husky here, look at him there with his lead in his mouth. He's like, do you know what? I'll take my own self for a walk, thank you very much. <laughs> right? Um, this, I feel like, Gemini, this is about you leading your own way in life. Right? Going on your own path, regardless of what anyone else says. What anyone else thinks it's your path trust it trust yourself over anyone else trust yourself you know the four of spring look at this beautiful card here i feel like with this coming up next to the ten of winter this is taking a break from that in a sense of um of especially this here being two otters, all right, like the twins. This is you trusting yourself. This is, you know, we have these opposing twins here, right? The Gemini. One sees one thing, one sees the opposite. Bring the twins together, let them join and lay together in harmony with one another. Let them work together. 
so that they complement one another rather than go against one another. Okay? It's, it's about you joining with yourself, joining forces with yourself to become your own, your own um, ally. Okay? Wow, we've got the two of summer here. Yeah. See, this is coming together with another, right? Whether it's another person in a romantic relationship, whether it's with your twin, Gemini, whether it's with a best friend, whatever, okay? It's coming together with those who are like you. There may be a slight difference, a slight difference in appearance, or maybe a big difference in appearance, but ultimately they are like you, right? This is the love bird. Yeah. Okay, so we have the gecko. The gecko for me, Gemini, blends in, blends in with its environment. I feel like, Gemini, it's important for you to blend out. Blend out of your environment. In the sense of stand out. Don't be afraid to stand out. You know, the gecko here is trying to adjust itself to match the colours around it. But you can still see it very clearly. Because, Gemini, you can't, you can't fade into the background. You're going to stand out regardless of what you do and how much you try to blend in or step to the back. You're going to stand out. No matter which twin you bring forward, <laughs> you're going to stand out. Okay. We've got the six of summer here. The six of summer. This is, I'm going to read this because, the, yeah, I'm going to read this to you. The love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return to it. Old memories can be healed or possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived. Cool. That's good. See, the thing is that with these cards, what I love about them is sometimes I get nothing. I'll go with the pictures, right? I'll see what I'm getting. I'm getting the energy, right? I'm feeling it out. And when I get nothing, I know I have to read it. And that's what that required. Because this has come up for the other signs. And I haven't had to read it. But for you, you had to hear that message, Gemini. Okay, the four of summer. See, coming out of your shell here. Discovering the world. Coming out into the open. Trying out new things after this time of sort of being, I suppose, um, not blending in, but being hidden. Being hidden, yeah? Focus. You're in need of a clear direction. Decide what you want in life. Yeah, get clear on that, Gemini. And, and when, you, when you sit in this intuition and you trust yourself, you can't, you can't, um, that, that won't be hazy. That won't be out of focus. It will be clear as day. Okay. So let's have a look. Focus. Tell me more about this for Gemini, please. One on the floor. Can't see what it is. Tell me more. Last cut up because that was last out. Okay. Okay, so Gemini, let me get this one off the floor. Okay, Gemini, focus. Yes. So I feel like here, yeah, um, with this, look at this card, look at him going, skipping along with this flag there, like yippee, you know, springing along, walking with a spring in your step, right? Focusing on what's important, focusing on what you want, focusing on the fact that you deserve every little success in your life, focusing on you and what you want, not what everyone else wants, but yourself, okay? 
incredibly important here Gemini okay the um we've got the eight of summer here and I feel like this is about you <laughs> so funny because what I'm getting here is these kangaroos stopping and realizing that someone's taking a photo of me <laughs> right of like hang on a minute that's not right what are you doing here <laughs> and um yeah, this is observance. I feel like this is observance. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. But again, see, I'm coming back to this trust thing of using all your senses that you need to use. Um, it's almost like when I was talking about here of not stepping back and not blending in. There's this sense of actually right zooming out to see the bigger perspective, to see, to see what's going on. Okay. Very interesting indeed. We've got the five of winter here. Let go of the rope. There are battles that just you don't need to have. There are battles that aren't yours. Okay. Let go of the rope. Gemini. Mm. Mm. because that's not going to help you okay squabbling over little things or um, I suppose getting into power battles with people it's not going to help you to achieve what it is that you want to achieve in life okay again zoom out find common ground okay We've got the three of winter here, and this is this, I feel like this is this um, ten, following on from this ten of winter, okay, nurturing yourself and loving yourself, being around those who will do that for you, okay, not those who will condemn you or um, <clears throat> look down upon you, but being around those who will actually um, take care of you, okay. What's this one here? The King of Winter. Look at this, Gemini. The King of Winter. Wear that crown. Wear that crown. And glide your way through life. With the energy of this King of Winter. With grace. With ease. With poise. Yes, it's, it's a balancing act to have that crown remain upon your head. But you can do it because that's who you are. Yeah, that's who you are, Gemini. Okay, and we have the eight of winter. So with this card here, it's important for you to step out, step out of the cage that you have put yourself in, that you remain in because the door is open wide. It's time to step out and be seen, okay? Passion, Gemini. Passion isn't confined to sexual energy. Life is meant to be felt. Don't hold back, okay? And sometimes it's the case that we don't want to feel what we feel because it's sometimes too painful. It's, it's, it's important to feel that in order to release it because the more you push it down, the more it rears its ugly head to be felt. Okay, so tell me more about passion for Gemini, please. Wow. Okay, excellent. So we had out here. First, this one, this one, this one, and then, wow, Gemini, wow. Okay, so we've got these two cards here. There is a massive, massive change in your life happening here, Gemini. Huge. The wheel is turning. Okay, this is part of your life experience. This is part of what you have come here to do. Stand on that post there and get ready to fly because you are about to embark on something massive. Okay? something that you are passionate about, 
something that you um, have come here to do, that you live for. This is going to be a, um, a time of, of you living not just your truth, but being able to express your innate being and um, express that freely and authentically. Okay, and those who are uncomfortable with that, the truth of who you are, with you expressing that truth, um, they're not even going to, to be existent anywhere to bring you down at all. Okay, because they can't, not anymore anyway, not anymore, yeah, you are going to fly Gemini, absolutely fly, okay, we've got the nine of spring, and this is you jumping up after being down for so freaking long, right, the gazelle, when it's threatened, it plays dead, and it lies there, right, and then when it sees the opportunity, it springs up into action, and away it goes, full of life again and this is what's happening for you Gemini springing into action full of life you were never down you were never dead there was always life pumping through your veins just for a while you had to keep it small but not anymore Gemini not anymore okay the four of autumn this is um I feel like this is about you feeling a lack and needing to store things um, for yourself. I, I want to say about this too, Gemini, is to make sure that with the springing into action here, to make sure you take the time to rejuvenate. This could be about storing your energy. Okay, the times that you have the down times, make sure you're using those to replenish yourself. Don't get too worn out with everything else around you. Replenish yourself, Gemini, because that's very important. Okay, especially for you, because you're going to have both twins there going, but you should be doing this, and what about this? But it's important for you to take charge, okay? Take charge and just glide for a bit. You're actually, this is what I'm doing right now, okay? We've got the nine of summer. This is all your wishes come true, Gemini. Few things to tidy up. Few things to tidy up. But um, <clears throat> yeah, this is this is certainly something that um, is meant for you and that you dream of. Let me just clear my throat. And next up, Gemini, we have the Queen of Summer. Look at this. This is you wearing your crown again, right? The royal you absolutely beautiful gliding through that water gliding through that water with grace with ease own it Gemini own it okay so anyway where's the book where is the book here it is been hanging out for this okay so perspective and I suppose with this perspective this this can be about how you see yourself right from which perspective do you see yourself okay so Gemini perspective none of this matters zoom out common ground Take a step back and look at the bigger picture of your life. Step away from the blinkered vision and reactive frame of mind of me against them. Change your perspective. Shift your point of view and zoom out, out, out. We are about to speak of dust in the universe, yet we think everything revolves around us. We see the planet as ours to own and conquer, pillaging the land and setting ourselves up for our eventual extinction. We build fences and walls and create invisible borders. Mother Earth does not need us to survive, but we need her. 
it's time to wake up. A new perspective is urgently needed. We become so lost in our individual experience that we don't realise that most of the things that keep us awake at night are actually distractions. We're wasting our precious time and resources fighting each other when we should be coming together to heal what's been severed. This moment is a breath in the timeline of your life. This life is a fleeting moment in the tapestry of your soul's experience. Your soul's experience is a flash in the timeline of the known universe. And the known universe is a grain of sand in the unknown universe. Take a moment to see the bigger picture, to find common ground, to find deep compassion in your heart, to gain a greater perspective of humanity in this fleeting moment in the timeline of your soul's existence, in the timeline of all that is, was and ever will be. Beautiful. Okay, so the Starseed Soul Inquiry, this is a question for you to ponder upon, Gemini. How are you being called to change your perspective? Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.